Today we'll be covering the installation of an EcoCERC 2018 and, a 20, and an EcoCERC Plus 2018. The, um, some of the items in the box are an in insulation shells. Make sure not to throw them away. They're useful. Um, and there are gaskets and a check valve is optional. If you need, if you want to use, if you need to use it, you snap it into the discharge of the pump. If not, you can use it for the next job. We're installing the EcoCERC Plus 2018, but the EcoCERC 2018 installation process is, is the same. We have a horizontal insulation, so we'll be rotating the pump body so that we're pumping left to right. And in this case, we have a check troll valve already installed, so we will not be installing the check, the check valve inside the, the not discharge nozzle of the pump. So the pump comes out of the box in this orientation with the discharge up at 12 o'clock, conduit box at 12 o'clock. The four screws need to be removed and the motor housing rotated with respect to the pump body. In this case, we're pumping left to right, so we'll rotate it like this and we'll reinstall the screws. So before you do any installation, make sure you check the IOM, the instruction manual of the pump, and make sure you have the PPE required for your particular location. So we have a couple of, we have the gaskets here. We're gonna put a gasket on the, di on the discharge nozzle and a gasket on the suction nozzle. So we'll slide the pump between flanges and uh, with the fasteners from the fastener pack in the box, we will start installing the pump on the flanges. Okay. Now we'll tighten up the four bolts. So at this point, verify that you, you have disconnected power at your power source. And we can lo loosen the conduit box screw and remove the cover. We have the black and white lead wires. So it's a nice roomy situation. You have plenty of room on available. We'll put the conduit, the flexible metal conduit in position here. So the black wire connects to the black wire of the uh, pump and the white wire of the supply to the white wire of the pump. And, and black to black wires with wire nuts. And then the grounding wire, if you have it, is connected to one of the two options for ground wire connections. So we make sure we tuck our wires in and replace the conduit box and tighten up the conduit box screw. So now that the pump is electrically connected and mechanically connected here, we'll go ahead and slowly open the shutoff valves. And we'll check for leaks. Everything's very dry. If you do have a case where the, one of the flanges is leaking, it typically is because a gasket has peeled back from out of the, uh, out of the groove as it was installed. So if that's the case, you have to correct that, isolate it again, and, um, and 
either replace the gasket or get the gasket in position. So after we have the pump mechanically installed and electrically connected and pressurized, we're ready to start it up. So we'll, in this case, we'll hit the switch here. And the pump from the factory is set for the off position. So the, the, the display for the plus model says OFF. So on the standard model, the display is not there, but you see the, the blinking amber light. So in order to turn it to some of the operating, to one of the operating modes, we'll go here to constant uh, pressure, and we can go to proportional pressure or constant speed, depending on your installation, what, what you need done in your application. So the pump, the plus model displays feet, GPM, and input watts. It toggles from one to the next. And then it gives you a, uh, the operating mode. So you get feet, GPM, input watts, and operating mode for each, each of these positions. So the eAdapt is available on the plus model and it will find it the favorable, the most favorable operating point to, to save you the most money in power. And also the uh, air purge position here is open, is usable for both the plus and the standard model. So with that, the installation is complete. If you have any questions, you can consult the IOM. For any supporting documentation, you can visit bellgossett.com.